Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a side-by-side -side box plot, as you can see here, using Excel 2019. Um, I had an earlier video in Excel 2016, but for some reason this no longer works. Um, if you look here on Select Data and I do Edit, you notice here the range is B2 to B56. But if I would try to replicate this right now, um, it actually will not work because if I go, oh, sorry, select data and then um, edit, I can say my, that's that one. And then if I use the exact same range, B2 to B56, I hit OK, I get an error message. So it's a bit weird that this is happening, but I found a way to resolve it. It was also requested on YouTube to uh, make a new video on this. So, how can I do this in Excel 2019? Well, the solution is relatively simple. Uh, you can do this uh, by setting it up uh, one by one, or actually by selecting the, uh, the data first and then just uh, hit the uh, insert uh, side by side box plot. However, to do that, I need to have the location uh, before the grade. So I can either just copy this in and move it there. By the way, uh, I'm using a VLOOKUP here because I originally had my location as a number. Uh, let me show you better here. So this is looking up this value in this table and then returning to me the one second column and it must be an exact match. So that's how this formula works. Now, if I wanted to put here, simply say, this equals this one, and then just copy-paste it down, or double-click on the lower right corner, where the mouse turns into a big plus, and then double-click, and copy-paste it down, you notice that there's a zero. And that's not right, because it's a complete blank. So the usual way to solve that would be to use equals if b2 equals and then most people will use uh, twice the quotation signs so that means if it's blank then and then use blank again I'm using a semicolon to separate my parameters uh, perhaps you have to use a comma it depends on your uh, system settings and otherwise b2 so this is what most often will be used copy paste it down and then I can simply select all this data first like this and then say insert go to the statistical charts and select the box and whiskers so here we have already our bar chart uh, sorry box plot but as you can see the results uh, look different there are no whiskers uh, so it's not the same so something weird is going on and it took me a little bit to figure this out but the problem is actually these these are not the same as this although it looks exactly the same these two are now because there is a formula and there is uh, the double quotation signs the chart will actually pick up on that so we need something the chart will not pick up on and one way of doing that is to add basically an error message and a so from not applicable I think that means non applicable not applicable could be wrong on that so now I get an NA and if I use that my chart should be uh, updated and now actually should be the same so let's have a look select data uh, sorry let's do the same thing again I use these uh, all the values insert and use these and now you see that actually the results are there and that they're exactly the same as in our previous one or the one I used to have for Excel 2016 uh, of course you can change the colors again if you like but you notice that the results are the same so you can uh, go into the format and change some shape fill for example to orange so that matches um, so there's plenty of things to make this perhaps slightly more to your likings you can delete perhaps the chart title or just add it in etc etc but uh, you can change the the axis 
format access, then you get a panel usually on the right here. There it is. So, but that's just layout things. Uh, the basics uh, was the point of this video, and I hope this was helpful.